Scott's coming off a big win over their rivals from Richmond last week, back home to open the playoffs against Fick. And you know when you get into the postseason, when things start kind of moving in the right direction for you, especially if you come off a big win over a rival, you know things are kind of moving in the right, in the right, on the, in the right direction the way you want them to go. So I think Coach Bailey has a good sense that his team's maybe starting to click a little bit. How the Scots are normally, they can go into the postseason, and you know what? Their, their win-loss column, you th just throw it out. I mean, last year they went deep into the postseason, went all the way up to, you know, the ENC and Carteret, went all the way into the, you know, the triangle and just beat up teams. They didn't have a good record heading into the last postseason. They yeah. got pretty far. Could this be the same story once again? It seems to be the calling card for the Scots. Postseason begins, throw it all out, let's go. We get it going here late second half. Zay Jones, crafty running back. Yeah, fights his way in for the score. That's going to put the Scots up 28-21 with 11 and change to go. Fans going wild, and they should. Their team's up by seven. The Demons, though, would tie the game with eight minutes to go, but the Scots keep the pressure on. Quaterius Everett makes only one play to go he in. Gone. The screen play He's still perfection. going. He's just going. He's going. His to second go touchdown of the night. Scott's up 35-28. And then Zay doing it again. Jones breaking off 50 to put this one to bed. Yeah. Like a baby. Give it to him. Scott's win it 42-35. Seventh win of the season. And they are moving on into the second round of the North Carolina High School Football Playoffs. But they got to go on the road now. Got to win it on the road. Tough test there with Terry Sanford. Yeah.